What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another geography video. You know guys, ever since I was a kid, I have loved the world flags. It's one of the first geography things I ever learned, like probably many of you guys, and still to this day, they just hold a soft spot for me. So in today's video, I'm gonna do what many have done before and rank all 197 flags in terms of aesthetics. I'm gonna try and leave all other factors out of it. Obviously there will still be some biases going into this, but I'm gonna do my best at giving you guys my aesthetic tastes and just showing you guys exactly what I'm into and what I'm not. Hopefully it's the case that you guys are not too offended by any of my choices. And uh, yeah, here we go. I added differentiating categories here for BC and A just because I thought there are too many uh, flags here and we're gonna end up with a messy list if we don't add a few categories here. And of course I'll have the tier list linked in the description. So go ahead and try it yourself. Okay, Andorra, we're going in alphabetical order here. Andorra is a nice flag, got no complaints. I always like this color scheme, but of course there are many flags that do it. Um, and I, honestly out of them, I think Andorra is one of the better ones. So for me, this is like a B or a B plus. Um, it's a B plus, you know, like I think many flags will see me kind of erring towards the top here because most flags I do genuinely enjoy to some extent. Okay, I'll have to be quicker than that uh, for most of these. This is UAE. UAE, I, I don't mind the look of it. Um, It's not bad. Uh, as for one of the like pan-Arabic flags, I think it's one of the better ones. Probably don't prefer as much as I like Andorra, but still good. Afghanistan's definitely better. It's kind of like on a very similar tier to Andorra in my opinion. You, these are very similar flags and definitely comparable. Only changing out the colors, I think I actually may prefer the Afghani colors slightly more. Antigua and Buddha. Hmm, interesting one. It is, like, I can definitely see this one being a popular one. It kind of feels like 1950s style, kind of retro chic kind of look, if I'm saying the right kind of thing. Um, I think it's also maybe a B plus or an A. Um, and for me, I'm thinking high B plus here. Yeah, this is this is a good flag. Albania is obviously one of the goated flags. Um, this is easily A plus. Do I put an S? I think we'll have to wait to see if this gets S tier but everyone likes the Albania flag and for good reason, it's one of the goated flags. Um, Armenia is a flag, however, I've never liked too much. I think the fact that it's orange instead of yellow just always bothered me. It, it's kind of too dark. There's not enough contrast in the flag. So yeah, sorry, Armenians, I love your country, but I think it's gotta be C for this one. Um, Angola is a pretty cool flag. They got the machete on there and the star. So as for Angola, that's an interesting question. I mean, I think it doesn't quite look as good as Antigua and Barbuda, but it's, it's on a similar level. I think this is another B plus. Who knows, B plus might end up getting quite stacked here, but it is definitely above B in my opinion, just because it's got a cool and clean design. Argentina, not actually my favorite flag, to be honest. Like, I think it's definitely better than Armenia, so I'm immediately putting it here. Um, I like the I like the flag, like the uh, sun in the middle, but I don't really like the color design that much. I think it's done better in other flags. So yeah, it's kind of just doesn't pop out that much. I think Argentina probably C plus for me. Um, Austria, I think this is Austria, right? Yeah, this is Austria. So Austria is decent. Um, Where's Austria going though? I mean, Austria is so plain J and it's hard to give it a particularly high rating. I think it's just kind of like a B tier flag, probably below UAE in my opinion. Um, Australia is kind of the same for me, actually. I, I think it probably belongs in C plus or B. Um, maybe in the, like maybe just like my own personal like uh, connection with Australia is gonna make me go B, but yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, some people really hate Union Jack flags. I don't, um, but uh, as for Australia, I just don't think it's, you know, that special. It's 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 a fine flag. Um, the colors are nice, obviously, like the, the tried and true red, blue, and green, red, blue, and white, but apart from that, like there's not much going for it. I think the stars look worse than the New Zealand ones, but I like that they're white, so we'll come to New Zealand later. Azerbaijan suffers from a similar problem to Armenia, in my opinion. Um, in fact, it's another C tier flag, in my opinion. Um, yeah, definitely like had some potential, but uh, I think the red in the middle is what bothers me there for some reason. Uh, Bosnia, a good flag. Honestly, somewhat overrated in my opinion though. I think this is another like B tier flag. Um, and like, it, I think it suffers from a bit of like the, I think it suffers from the fact that the uh, stars are kind of too tightly packed together and kind of cut off one, one on the bottom and one on the top. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't quite sit right with me to give it a higher rating. It is a cool flag, yeah. It's one of the ones with the most potential so far, I would say. Okay, my, Hmm? Do I say it? It's one of my favorite flags. S tier is Barbados. Um, yeah, on, on the GeoGuessr interview, 
Um, I said it was my favorite flag and that could stu be subject to change, but I love how we got the dark colors on the outsides. We got the light color with the black symbol on the middle. This is like kind of different to how we have it here. I mean, the red's not quite dark enough to justify the crescent being white, but then it's also not quite cohesive enough with the other two colors, which are lighter. Like it's, it's just like a perfect version of the Azerbaijan flag in a way. Um, I love it. And honestly, like, Ye yellow and blue do look really good together. I've always liked that color combination. So yeah, I'm um, Bangladesh is like, I feel like these kind of colors are kind of garish together. Um, honestly, kind of thinking C tier here. Um, not my favorite flag by any stretch of the imagination. Belgium on the other hand is a really nice looking flag. It's kind of, it kind of is better than these ones in my opinion, just cause it is simple and, um, and just clean. Yeah, that's all I have to say there. Burkina Faso, not one of my favorite flags. Um, C plus probably is the way to go here. I think it's worse than Argentina, probably better than these ones. Not too much to say. Bulgaria is clean. I like Bulgaria, probably a B plus kind of tier flag here. Um, if I had to place it in these ones, yeah, probably bottom of B plus. Like, yeah, I think it does look better than, um, than the UAE flag, but only marginally. Um, is this Bahrain? I think this is Bahrain flag. Oh yeah, we're in B now. So Bahrain flag, I think, look, it's a decent looking flag. I think it's better than Qatar by a good margin especially because it's like one of those ones more compact. Now, Qatar's more like a wide flag. I like compact flags more, though we don't really get to see it on this tier list. Um, and that would definitely affect things. If, if they actually had the true aspect ratios, because obviously like Switzerland's just zoomed in here. If we had true aspect ratios, I think some flags would fall significantly. Um, that's another reason I think like the Armenian flag or something is often like really long, which yeah, not a fan. Um, so yeah, uh, Bahrain flag, I think it is good. Um, it's another B tier flag in my opinion. It's probably better than Austria. Um, Burundi traditionally was always one of my favorites. I think also some people have it as their least favorites. Um, the longer I think about this flag, the less I like the middle of it. I think the outer like concept is really nice. And then the middle, they kind of fumbled. Like one big star could have been so much better. Also, um, I like green and red are my favorite colors. So I, I still think it has to go high. I think it's just a high B plus these days, honestly, guys. It, hmm. No, I think I still have to put a bottom of A. Like it used to be my, like my second favorite flag probably. But yeah, these days not vibing with it as much. Still, still really cool. Like, it had lots of potential. Um, is this Benin? Yeah, Benin. Obviously we got the Pan-African colors here. First one, the way I actually having the Pan-African green, uh, red and yellow. As for Benin, what am I gonna say for Benin? I think Benin is pretty much like a C tier flag, probably high C. Yeah, I mean, I don't really like the proportions that much, but you know, they're, they're colors that work together. So, and and they they, they do like kind of represent the color country well, even though I said that wasn't really a factor. I think, yeah, it, it's nice. Um, Obviously Brunei is a top tier flag. That's instantly up there with um, Albania. I'm gonna shuffle the top up here a bit. So keep watching, give the video a like, by the way, if you're enjoying. Um, and yeah, this one, this one's subject to change. I think, I think it is, mm, that's really difficult. I think these actually all have to be S tier for the moment. I think so. And the order, honestly, if I have them next to each other, like I could definitely see an argument for these ones being better than Barbados. But yeah, I think all three at the top of the moment. So this one, it's, um, I guess this is, uh, what, what is it? We already had Benin. I actually forget what, what one this is. Um, but regardless, um, oh, it's Bolivia. Okay, that's why they don't have the crest on the Bolivian flag here. Okay, in which case, Bolivia um, is a decent flag. I think it's uh, better than Benin. I think it's worse than Australia, probably. Yeah, maybe better than Australia, I don't know. Somewhere in here, um, I will go here. Yeah, I feel it. It does feel right going behind Bosnia. See, Bosnia, I just want to put higher because it has so much potential, but the execution, flawed. Okay, Brazil's an A-plus flag. Very nice one. Super clean design. Um, a little bit complicated in the middle, perhaps, but I've always liked that. Um, what, what, a, what a cool design. Like, Brazil was straight up a G flag, like, yeah, definitely, love it. Um, Bahamas, weak man's and poor man's Barbados, if you ask me, pretty bad flag, this is going C tier. Um, like, they're so similar, and yet, this one, it's just, it just doesn't look good with the black triangle. That's, 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 the, that's my take on it. Um, although, I'm not sure if this is actually the official version, but I like the fact that the black doesn't go all the way to the edge, that's kind of a cool flair, but yeah, somewhere here. Um, obviously, Bhutan, this is like basic choices, but yeah, Bhutan has to go A+. Plus. Um, I don't love it as much as some people do, but gosh, it's, it's a nice flag. That's a well-designed and intricate, but 
fitting flag. I love it. Botswana is another one I really like. That's A plus as well for me. Um, I always like see like things designed like collars, like with the with the Botswana flag design, and I I just see it in real life and I love it. Like this kind of like uh, the way it's hemmed against the black with the white. Awesome. Um, I think it is below Bhutan and Brazil though. A Belarus. We don't get the uh, trimming on the left hand side of the flag here, sadly. Um, Belarus is a pretty ugly flag here. It's kind of it's kind of got Eastern European charm, but it is pretty ugly in my opinion. So like top of C probably is the best I can give it. Probably like here is the best. Uh, Belize is a cool flag. I think it's just a B tier flag though. Um, like it's nothing crazy. Um, I'm just gonna go middle of B here. That's fair, I think. Um, Canada is a cool flag. Um, obviously a bit of an upgrade from their previous flag, if you ask me at least. Um, it does, it's, it's another one that like, you know, it's got the national symbol on it, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and, and, and it's executed well. I would say it's like a top of B plus here. Yeah, feels good to me. Um, Republic of the, uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo is definitely a solid flag. Um, I think, it, I feel like, I'm just trying to think if they could have gone for a lighter blue or a darker blue here. I think maybe a dark blue could have actually fit a little nicer. Light blue is a bit of a risk. If you ask me like a lot of light blue down the bottom here, only a bit of light blue at the top. I think light blue is a bit of a risk. On this occasion though, I think it is a successful flag. I would go for like B plus tier here and uh, cool day there. Central African Republic, bit too much going on in terms of the colors, maybe, um, but definitely not a bad flag. I think like it had potential to be bad, it's not. Um, and it's another B plus for me. Um, okay, Republic of the Congo, yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna have to start, start dragging some of these sooner. And I think Republic of the Congo, it definitely outdoes Bolivia actually. Um, but kind of towards the top of B. Switzerland, we're kind of the square version of this, of course. Switzerland is a good flag. Um, I think B plus is another like way, way to go here, like somewhere next to Canada. Iconic as they come, the Swiss flag, but also not quite as good as the ones we have, we have in the A here. I'm gonna try and keep this fairly sparse up here because you know, it, you deserve to be like that kind of royalty if you're up there. Okay, um, next one's Ireland. Ireland is a fine flag, not much to say here. B tier. Um, I think I prefer the Texas flag to the Chilean flag in all honesty, um, but they're kind of they're kind of even. No, oh, maybe I prefer the Chilean one. I don't know. But regardless, definitely better than Argentina in my opinion, but also not the best. I would probably put it just above Australia here. Um, maybe just above Bolivia as well. I feel like it definitely is below like Belize and um, Bosnia. Cameroon. Moving on to the seas here. Cameroon's flag. It would have definitely been better if they had have stuck more with the Pan-African one with a bit of a brighter green like Republic of the Congo. Um, however, it is kind of a similar looking flag and does have like, I do like the yellow star, but it's kind of lopsided with more yellow to the left than to the right. Like if they put the stuff like there, that would have been curious. Um, but I, I, I'm over analyzing this. This is a fine flag, it's good. China's definitely B plus. I've always liked the Chinese flag. It's got that kind of simple, charming design. Could even go to the A tier, China. Um, I actually think I may go low A here for China. It's, it's, it's an effective looking flag. Um, I can't remember what the smaller stars symbolize or anything, but like, I've always just enjoyed the way it looks, especially when it's zoomed out. Good looking flag, China. They've, they've done a good job there. So now we go to Colombia. Colombia is a flag I've always enjoyed. Um, B plus is feeling most appropriate to me here. Kind of just above Afghanistan. Yeah, that's looking good. Uh, this is Costa Rica. Costa Rica is also a solid looking flag. Obviously this one's like super safe. They went super safe here. Red, blue, white, like just stripes, but in kind of like a cool design um, compared to some of the others. I don't know, Costa Rica is just a solid B plus as well. Like definitely my favorite tier to put stuff in here is the B so far, but I think, I think, it, I think it checks out. Uh, Cuba, I think Cuba might be another one that's a little overrated in my opinion. I don't know, like, I, I, I feel like it may have been better if they had a swapped the blue stripes or something, but I think Cuba may actually be kind of a top of C tier here. Yeah, I think I don't like it as much as Australia or Chile to be honest, so yeah. Okay, Cabo Verde um, is a good flag. I think this one's definitely like A tier for sure. Um, the problem is I feel like like I'm just thinking like maybe like an outline around some of the stars like they have on the Burundi flag could have actually worked quite nicely here because they don't stand out that well. Um, but yeah, actually I think I might have to go high B, B plus here. Just a slight design flaw there in my opinion, but still a really nice flag. And I do like the yellow on the traditional colors here. I think that's kind of cool. Cyprus is an A tier for sure. Um, I think um, like, yeah, it's actually better than all the ones here. So yeah, I, I do like these kind of like bold, simple designs, 
um, and you get those with these three flags here. I don't know, this one's just a cool flag. I think everyone likes the Cyprus flag too. Czechia, well, not one I'm a fan of, to be honest. I like the country Czechia, not a big fan of the flag. I think it's probably C+, like it's very safe flag, but also kind of bad, I don't know why. I just don't really like it that much. Um, it's kind of like the Polish flag, but worse. They kind of screwed it up by putting this blue triangle there, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the Chevron flags, in all honesty. What's the highest Chevron flag we have so far? Yeah, down here, yeah. Not a fan of Chevron flags, but I'll keep an open mind. Uh, Germany, Germany's got a good flag. I don't think I like it as much as Belgium, for example. Um, I don't think I like it as much as Bulgaria. But it's still good. Like, I still think it deserves to go in the B tier here somewhere. Next to Austria, that seems fitting, doesn't it? Djibouti. I mean, I'm not just hating on these Chevron flags here, but man, like, the colors are also kind of whack here as well. Um, but it's definitely better than, it's definitely better than some of the others. I don't know, light blue plus Chevron, it's hard to get a good rating here. I know some people are actually big fans of the Djibouti flag, but for me, yeah, that one's just going to be somewhere next to Cuba here in the C plus tier. We don't have any D tier flags here. We may have to drag one down here. Bangladesh, am I doing Bangladesh too dirty? I'm not so sure. Okay, I've actually just added an E tier here and I'm gonna drag down some of my least favorites here. We're gonna go like that, just so we can balance things out a little bit here. I'm also gonna drag down Burkina Faso. Okay, this is looking a little bit more balanced like I wanted it to be. Now we have kind of a nice bell curve. Let's move on. Denmark, we're only up to D here. Uh, Denmark is a good flag. I think actually the Nordic crosses rightfully have a lot of hype behind them. I think it's gonna go to the B plus here. I do like, I do prefer it to the Swiss flag. In fact, Swiss flag, I think I have to move down a little bit. Square design, I don't know. Bottom of B plus is probably uh, appropriate here. Dominican Republic is a crowd, crowd or oh, Dominica is a crowd favorite. Um, and where am I gonna put it? That's an interesting question. I think this actually may be an A tier flag. But again, it, it kind of suffers the same like fate as Cabo Verde, where it, it had a lot of good ideas. It is maybe just a little bit too much going on. Um, again, like a, maybe a similar like Burundi flag. I think I actually have to bring Burundi down, you know, to the same, to the, to the top here. These are like the heavily flawed, but could have been great flags. They all have kind of interestingly colored stars that don't quite, that, that could have maybe been better without, you know, so. Yeah, I feel like that's this where they belong. Um, Dominican Republic, however, yeah, this one's a good one. This one's a good one. I think it's actually it's actually up there with one, some of my favorite flags. I think it's probably bottom of A plus here. Um, just super clean, man. This one's like this one's like it would make a really good piece of clothing, you know. I'm just just a big fan of that design. Um, Algeria is one of the better um, like North African slash Arabic inspired flags. I think it's gonna go up in the B plus here, probably higher. Um, yeah, around here probably fits. Yeah, nice flag. Um, Ecuador, um, hmm. uh, do I prefer that to Colombia? I think it's, I think it's very similar in terms in, in, to Colombia. I'll probably put it like a few spots lower though, but definitely like both of those flags. Estonia, goated flag, man. Gotta go near the top here. Now, do I prefer it to Botswana? I think I do. Well, that's really tough though. I think I do. I think I'm gonna put this like, near the top of A+. Like, it is just a really nice flag. I love the symbolism. Obviously, we're not really counting that, but even without, like, the symbolism with the sky, the forest, and the snow, it is just a cool flag. I, I just think not enough countries were brave enough to use the black, especially in the middle like that. And, yeah, I mean, both times the black got used in the middle with this color scheme, it, it was a success. So, yeah, big props. Egypt, not my favorite. Probably, like, high C. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of, we, we get into some of these kind of more boring black, black, white. Yeah, I, I prefer without the crest actually. So I think that's a big thing as well. Um, Western Sahara here, I think that is that flag is. Um, better than Egypt actually, I would say, but definitely similar kind of region here, not a big fan. Um, worse than UAE, in my opinion. Eritrea is kind of cool. Um, as Chevron flags go, it's, it's definitely up there. Um, but I would probably put it like around the same as UAE in all honesty, because the color scheme is, it's using like all four of like the primary color, you know, what are culturally canon primary colors. And it's a bit busy for that reason, I think. Spain is a cool flag. Spain is definitely going up. Um, is it A tier? Is Spain A tier? I think so. Hmm. Now compared to these ones, yeah, I think Spain is A tier. It is a really nice flag. No complaints with it, honestly. Um, Ethiopia next, Ethiopia. How do I feel about Ethiopia, actually? It, it I think the star design, it's a, it's a bit much. Um, and I would put it like bottom of B tier here, I think. Um, okay, nor like uh, Finland, 
As, as for like a Nordic cross, it's going up, obviously. Um, but I don't like it as much as Denmark, so I think I just kind of put it in the middle of B+. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the Union Jack um, on the light blue, though. I think that kind of looks quite a bit worse than the Australian version, just my opinion, because it's kind of like the, the border cutting into it is a bit more, you know, pronounced and not quite as good. But yeah, I think it can go middle of D. Um, is this Micronesia or Polynesia? Uh, Micronesia, I think. Um, yeah, Federated States Micronesia, I think. That is uh, not my favorite flag either. Like, it, it, it had the potential for um, some strength here with the kind of minimalist design, but for me, it's like middle of C. France, good flag, good flag. Um, not too much to say here. Very safely played, but also quite nice. B tier, probably middle of B tier, to, to be honest with you. This is uh, Gabon or Sierra Leone. I always get these confused. I think it's Gabon, right? Um, not too bad, actually. Gabon, definitely also a solid B here. I think, um, I don't know. I don't know why I like it so much. It should be worse, theoretically, but I still like it. Um, UK, I think a similar deal here, just like somewhere in the B tier, um, B plus tier. Um, Granada, another flag with some potential. I think they could have been more successful leaving the flame off, um, but still like a solid high B, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe even a low B plus, actually, yeah. Um, George is a cool flag. George is a cool flag. Got the English flag, but with the crosses, I don't know, just, just cool. Based country, to be honest with these guys. So yeah, it's gonna go, I don't know. Aesthetically speaking though, I don't know. I think I just like Georgia too much. I think it's gotta go bottom of B plus, high B. Yeah, but I just like Georgia, you know? I wanna like rate it higher, but I, I won't. Um, Ghana, it's, it's, it's not the best looking flag. Like I think the black star doesn't quite fit. So yeah. Middle of C, that feels fair. This is a cool flag. Now, what is this? Is this Gabon? I always forget. Would that be Sierra Leone? Okay, how can I? No, this is the Gambia, that's why. All right, and the Gambia is has got the exact same success as the Botswana flag, but I prefer it. This is actually, ooh, this is the top of A. This is the top of A. This is a super clean flag, guys. I don't know why I like this like white trimming around the center of the bar so much in, in these flags, but it just looks so good to me. I, I don't know, I'd wear it. Like, it's like the same as the Dominican Republic. I'd just wear that, I don't know why. Um, is this Ghana, Guinea? Um, I think it's Guinea. And I would just put it middle of B. That is a middle of B flag, guys. Um, Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea, um, it is also another one of these flags that has the chevron, <laughs> which we're beginning to see is not my favorite design. Um, this one might be more successful than some of the others. So I'll put it bottom of B, but yeah, not too much else. Um, Greece here. Greece is a good flag. Um, it's very clean. I think the borders here where the, where the lines meet the cross could be better, but it's kind of going with these like kind of very solid European flags. I think it's actually top of, top of B plus, yeah. That feels fair to me. What? Um, not bad for a light blue flag. It's not bad. Um, gonna put it like middle of, well, top of B here. Feels fair. Um, Guinea-Bissau, oof, that's not a good flag. This is also like the same problem as Ghana, but worse. So this is going D tier. Um, not my favorite. Um, however, Guyana is a cool flag. This one, this one is hyped for a reason. I think I could put an A tier here. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just cool looking, right? I mean, this is like chevron done right, in my opinion. The double chevron, quite cool. And, and it just kind of, it looks fast and agile and, you know, I like that about it. Um, this is Honduras or whatever. Not a good flag though. D tier, C tier, something like that. Yeah, that's fine. Croatia, iconic and pretty cool. Actually, out of the Balkan flags, one of my favorites. Um, yeah, high B plus, good flag. Um, Haiti. Man, they really they really fumbled it with the uh, with the crest in the middle here having a white background kind of feels low effort <laughs> But um, but it's still cool. It's still cool. I actually will give it like a B tier like I say fumbled But like it actually could have been a lot worse. I think it's worse than Belize probably worse than Bosnia But yeah, maybe above Chile there um, Hungarian flag. I was never as big a fan as some of these other European flags for some reason just didn't quite do it as much for me so Probably just like C plus, C plus, high C plus. Um, then we have like Monaco slash Indonesia, but I guess this is Indonesia, right? Um, and yeah, I guess Indonesia. Did I say Ireland before when we didn't have Ireland? Yeah, we had uh, Ivory Coast, but yeah, this one, like I can't tell the difference. I Obviously they're very similar. I think I do prefer the Ivory Coast version. So I'll put Ireland like a few spots lower, but not really they're the same. Um, Indonesia slash Monaco here. 
um, is a good flag, actually. I don't mind it, probably just B. Like, this is a standard choice. Israel, again, actually a pretty good flag here. Um, but like bottom of B plus, yeah, that feels good to me. India, pretty cool flag. Don't really love, I, th I kind of wish the crest was bigger or something, or they did more, like, yeah, I think, I, I wish the crest was bigger in the middle. So I think it's just like a high C plus, low B, probably, yeah, it's probably just goes above Australia like that. Um, Iraq, much better version of this flag than what we have here than the Egyptian flag. Yeah, much better. So probably like bottom of B. That feels fair to me. Honestly, not even that much worse than UAE. So we'll go like that. Um, Iran is really cool. Iran's got a really cool flag. I love the kind of uh, the uh, symbol they have in the middle. It's very cool. The trimming, it depends how large the flag is printed, um, how good it looks. I think if it's a really large flag, it looks really good. And in the Middle East, they do like to make large flags. So um, I feel like, I feel like um, yeah, a little smaller, the smaller version, it doesn't look quite as good, but I think it's like a low, it's like a middle B plus actually. It's quite a solid flag for that region of the world where they are kind of lacking sometimes. Okay, Norway's an easy high tier here. Oh, this is Iceland, whoops. Um, is an easy high tier here. Um, mm, I think I think it actually does belong here though. And I'm actually gonna bump up Guyana a little bit and bump down. Belgium, that feels better. Go like that, yeah, nice. Um, maybe Belgium's too high. I don't know, I definitely prefer it to some of these though, yeah. Um, next one here, Italia. Uh, good, good, kind of, uh, kind of gonna see a similar fate to some of the others here. That kind of uh, Western European camp. I think I don't prefer it quite as much as the French flag, but it's still up there. Jamaica's a cool flag. Um, I think everyone likes Jamaica flag. This is kind of like a more successful Burundi flag, but less originality and flair. So I'm gonna put it just behind it. Um, okay, Jordan. Jordan is actually one I find ugly as well. I'm actually gonna go here with it. This is like kind of belongs with these ones. Japan is a goated flag, man. Everyone likes the Japan flag for good reason. Um, China and Japan, which one do I prefer out of those two? I think I prefer China, but I'm gonna go here because Japan, it, it, it deserves the hype, man. The rising sun, it's very cool. But the old Japanese flag, the Imperial flag is quite cool as well. So they could have stuck with that if they wanted. Um, okay, Kenya. Kenya, I would say, is a good flag. I do like the white kind of uh, stroke lines here. It's very cool. Um, yeah, it's gonna go up here. I'm gonna split up those two and put Kenya there. Uh, one with a lot of, I wouldn't say, I would say Kenya met its potential. Um, and it's just not quite as good as these ones because of the color scheme. Um, Kyrgyzstan, very cool flag. The Jake Lions flag, as they as they call it um, over there, uh, I've heard. Um, and Kyrgyzstan flag, yeah, I mean, Definitely since playing GeoGuess and knowing the country it's grown on me. Um, I still don't think it's, I still don't think it's quite perfect. Like it's not, it, it, it has that kind of simplistic, absolutely achieved its goal kind of vibe about it. And it goes high B plus, but I couldn't put it more. I don't think it's significantly like, I don't think it's, hmm. I think I got to move Belgium down here. I think it's better than Belgium. But then I don't think it's better than Japan. I don't think so. Okay, moving on. Uh, Cambodia, sick flag, sick flag. Moving all the way up here, we've had some successes in a row here. Um, I think Cambodia goes in the A tier as well, um, but maybe below Japan, yeah. Uh, Kiribati here, good flag, definitely. I think Kiribati goes high, a high B plus. Um, Comoros, I think that is. Comoros is, I don't like the extra stars here. I think that's the big problem here, but it is a good B. Um, St. Kitts and Nevis, actually another good B, I think. Um, North Korea, I think has a pretty decent flag. Um, but the, the wire, the, the middle thing is a bit too wide. Like it's got the opposite in a problem to India where they did a bit too much in the middle. So I would probably put it, it's not too bad though. I think I actually prefer it to India marginally. Let's go there. Um, South Korea obviously is a fan favorite, but for good reason. And I would put it, is it better than Japan? It's very similar. I think I'll put it just above Japan. Oh, just above. Yeah, I think it is actually better than China as well. I'm gonna put it there. I think that's fair. Yeah, it's, it's just a really cool design. Another one with like, it's a very modern, forward thinking, like kind of cool design. I'm, I'm with it, I'm with it. Next one here, we have Kosovo. Kosovo's got quite a good flag. I think it's actually more successfully executed than the Bosnian flag, but not by that much. So I think I'm just gonna go top of B here. I think I gotta move Georgia down. I don't think I quite like it as much as some of these flags, so. George is probably gonna go below North, North Korea there. Kuwait is a special, has a special place in my heart, and this is why. You've got the red carpet, the white back wall, the green ceiling, 
and the black side wall. It's like a 3D like room. You're looking into a room here. Now, if you, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, and if you've never done enough drugs, <laughs> and if you don't just have like a spacious mind like that, you might not understand this GigaChat flag. And honestly, it's one of my favorite of the Pan-Arabic flags. It's gonna go like bottom of B plus here. I actually do kind of prefer it to some of these flags. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. It's like up there with the Iran. Um, Kazakhstan has so much potential with a sick, it's like, it's like Kyrgyzstan, got a sick logo, but the blue, light blue does let it down. Um, yeah, just gonna go like yeah, around Australia. I think it's better than Australia. Okay, like, yeah, around Bosnia, that's fine. Um, so this is Laos. Laos is kind of an ugly flag in my opinion. Like, they used all the standard colors and still failed. Um, bottom of C, I think that's fitting quite nicely here. Lebanon, epic flag guys, bring it all the way up. Let's go baby. Um, I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit here. So, Lebanon. We are taking Lebanon here. I would say to the A tier, and I would say it could actually be A plus tier here, guys. We may have another addition to the club. Um, in which case, I would probably take it to the bottom of A plus. No, I think it's gotta go next to, I think it's better than Cyprus, but I can't justify A plus just yet. St. Lucia, sick flag. I also like the fact that they're using a bit of a darker blue here. Does it normally have a light blue? I think it normally has a light blue, so I'm gonna have to read on that, but this is still like a B plus tier flag for sure. Actually, the dark blue is sick, dude. The dark blue could make it go up here, but I know it's not normally meant to be light blue, and I'm gonna rate it based on that, so you know it's gonna be like, yeah, which is fine. Uh, Liechtenstein is like a better version of the Haitian flag, but not that much better. We'll take it there. Sri Lanka is a cool flag, definitely like B plus here. Um, Liberia is a failure of a flag, in my opinion. It, it does not look good. And we'll see where USA goes in comparison to that. It's definitely worse than the US flag, I can say that much. So Americans don't worry too much. Okay, um, Lesotho is a cool flag. Lesotho's going up. I definitely like the color scheme. It's kind of got the same strengths as, which one? I'm trying to find which one I put up here. Um, it's kind of got the same strength as, I can't remember which one actually, Gabon or whatever. It's got the same strength as the Gambia. Um, I like the kind of white with the black symbol on it. That is really striking. So I'm gonna go high B plus. Actually, top of B plus. Actually, A. It's an A tier flag. Okay. Um, Lithuania, bad flag. Um, for some reason, just uh, looks like the African ones, but almost worse for some reason. Um, might say bad. I think I still put it C, C plus. But yeah, it's like it's like marginally better than Ghana and Cuba. Um, L Luxembourg here. Luxembourg is decent. Couldn't complain about Luxembourg, but of the European flags, probably just a high B. Um, Latvia, similar story. Probably just like a low B here. Libya is not the worst, but probably just a C plus. Morocco, great flag here. I think everyone likes Morocco, right? Um, Morocco's going like top of, top of B plus for me here. Um, and now we have Indonesia or Monaco again. I guess this is Monaco. And I'll put it next to Indonesia to be fair because to be honest, well, they have different, like the Monaco flag is short. So I'll put it below Indonesia, but yeah, they, they go next to each other. Our next one here is, well, we're coming, we're coming full circle. Where has, where has Andorra ended up in all this? Andorra's here. Um, I honestly like feel like Andorra might have to get bumped down here. Cause I don't think I prefer it to Kosovo. Um, and then I prefer it to the uh, Moldova flag, but only marginally. Um, Montenegro's got a cool flag. Montenegro's immediately going like high B plus here, selling up with these flags here. Um, yeah, I think it kind of looks better in this image than it does normally though, so I'm gonna put it there. Um, that's Madagascar. Madagascar's kind of a mid flag, middle of C plus, yeah. Um, Nauru, is that Nauru or Marshall Islands? Hmm, hmm. It's one of my favorite flags, but I can't actually remember. But this one is high. This one might be S. Is this S? Let me zoom in a sec here. It is a really nice flag. I'm I'm not sure if I could justify S here though. I think I can actually. I think it's bottom of S here. Very clean flag. I don't know what I like so much about it. Is it, is it now Ruga? We'll come back to it. I mean, surely I'll remember by the end of the video. Um, North Macedonia, poor man's Imperial Japan flag, but still very good like middle of B plus tier, very, very solid flag. Probably better, honestly, than some of these. Let's put it, uh, let's put it here, yeah. Um, this one, uh, Male, yeah, just B 
be. Um, Taiwan, they've got a really cool version here. Honestly, Taiwan's kind of a failure of a flag, though, if you ask me. It's better than Samoa. So we'll put it top of C because it's definitely clearing some of these flags. No, it's clearing some of these flags, but yeah, it's it's next to Ghana. Yeah. Um, Mongolia. Honestly, Mongolia is a very cool country. They got a cool symbol on the flag, but the blue and red combination, not my favorite. So yeah, C plus maybe here. Sorry. Um, Mauritania. This is the new version of the flag. I think actually quite effective. I, I would put this kind of middle of B plus or lower B plus, but actually quite a cool flag for that area of the world. Malta's kind of an ugly flag in my opinion. Never vibe with the Malta flag. Probably a D here actually, if I had to say. Yeah, like high D. Uh, it is kind of cool, but yeah, it's probably better than Laos. I think Laos can go down and that can go here. Yeah, it's fair. Um, then we have Mauritius, actually a, actually a cool flag, you know. Everyone likes the colorfulness of Mauritius. I think it, it does it tactfully. It's cool. Um, Maldives, always been an ugly flag to me, um, but it's not the worst. Like, it's just going C here. It passes the test barely. Uh, Malawi is cool. Malawi is cool. Malawi is definitely going high B plus kind of area here. Um, another one of these rising sun flags that kind of make their appearance fairly often. And I think this is a good place for it, yeah. Uh, next one here is Mexico, another flag I quite like. I actually think Mexico, it is better than Italy in my opinion. So I'm gonna put it, yeah, kind of middle here. Uh, Malaysia, getting to the pointy end of things here. There's not many countries near the end of the alphabet. Um, Malaysia is okay. Um, it's better than um, Liberia, Liberia, but it's kind of a middle of C tier flag. It's, it's not the best, it's probably better than Malta. Um, okay, now we're onto another one of these ones with the white strokes, man. I love the way these look. Mozambique is a top tier flag. Having said that, I'm probably going to put it in the second tier, like next to the Gambia. Um, maybe it's worse than Brazil. Yeah, I think so. I think there might just be a little bit too much going on there. Um, but let's, let's have another, let's have a closer inspect here. It's a really cool flag, guys. Yeah, I have to put it there, but, um... But yeah, I feel like that's good. Oh, Namibia, another one I love, guys. Let's go. We're actually getting some crackers out here. Some, cr We're actually getting some cracking flags out here. And this one is no exception. I'm going to put it... Does it actually deserve a plus? Hmm. I would say it doesn't quite. I would say it's next to Guiana, next to Cyprus. Definitely a beautiful flag. Another one of these ones with strokes. So underdone. So underdone. If I was designing flags, they would always include these. Niger, E tier flag, bro. It is better than Liberia, I think. But <laughs> the, the orange circle just does not work, bro. That's a terrible design. Nigeria, on the other hand, I really like. Um, Nigeria's gone high B plus. That's a that's just a really nice flag. Um, maybe not as good as Mexico. Mm, yeah, we'll put it next to Algeria. I think that's fair. Um, Honduras, what is this? Nicaragua? I can't remember which one it's gonna be. Um, it's better than that one, so let's put it here. Um, actually, can go a bit, but a few further. Yeah, no, I actually like the Illuminati triangle there. I think I'm gonna put it there. Okay, um, Netherlands is solid. Um, another one of these kind of boring, you know, bottom of B plus probably, yeah. But cool. Um, Norway is obviously a top tier flag. Everyone loves the Norway flag, and for good reason. It is better than Iceland, and it is probably worse than South Korea. Okay. Um, Nepal, I don't really like the shape. But the design is very cool, so I think I'm just going to put it middle of B. Um, this one, I think, is now rude. <laughs> so I think that top one was Marshall Islands. Anyway, this one's like a poor man's Marshall Islands, if I'm right, if I have it the right way around. And I think, even still, it probably goes to the B plus tier, but like that. Um, New Zealand, I think, is like just the slightest bit better than Australia. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I could, I could probably put them above the, above... Guinea, probably above India. I don't know, like that's very close. I think this one's very close. New Zealand, I do slightly prefer. So I like the second star in Australia better, but I like the stars of New Zealand. Like I like the color of the Australian ones better, but I like the actual shape of the stars better in New Zealand. But I wish they had another one here. So really these are interchangeable for me. I feel like they're very even. Um, Oman, cool flag. Um, does a unique thing with the kind of T-bar here. Um, yeah, just kind of like a B-tier flag though for me. I don't think it deserves too much higher. Definitely better than Latvia though, yeah. Okay, another cool one, Panama. This is one that really could have been great in the same way that Dominican Republic is great. Um, but 
Instead, I think it's kind of like a bottom of B plus tier kind of flag. Uh, Peru, cool. Um, yeah, high B, high B, top of B. Yeah, next to, next to Kosovo, which actually Kosovo probably deserves to be higher. I'll put it there and then Peru can take the top of B. Um, Papua New Guinea is a great flag. Um, I love the Southern Cross mixed in with the kind of unique colors here. Um, let's go in like top of, top of B plus, I think. It could even be an A tier flag, actually. Yeah, I think Papua New Guinea goes here. Um, Philippines. Um, so, as for Philippines, I think it's kind of an ugly flag. Um, it's another Chevron flag, and I think it's actually worse than, than Malaysia. This could actually be a top of D kind of flag, and I think Laos has to move down. Actually, when I'm thinking, like, this is way better, so that goes there. Yeah. Um, Pakistan, cool flag. Definitely like the Pakistan flag, always have. Clears India by a good margin, I think. This is like a top of B plus kind of flag for my money. Actually could move up, but yeah, I think so. Uh, Poland has always been kind of ugly to me. Sorry, Polish ballad's the best. They got the top and I love my Polish viewers, but to me, it's not an, not an appealing flag. Um, definitely worse than Indo, Indo and uh, Monaco. And I would put it in the C tier, probably like around here. Um, Portugal, A tier flag at least. So let's see where I want to put this here. Portuguese flag, I prefer to the Spanish flag. Um, it may deserve to be here or it may deserve to be here. Actually, I think I'm going to put it in the A plus tier. I think so, yeah. Um, I really like it. Okay, Palau, another failure of a flag. This might be my least favorite. It's light blue and it's got like the off center crescent and it's just garish colors together. These three are bottom tier. Paraguay, it's mid, it's mid. We'll go there. That's worse. Actually, Taiwan deserves to move up a little bit here. Yeah, this is this is mid. Um, Qatar, obviously this is another long format flag. I'm gonna judge it how it is here. Still very mid as well. Um, what are we gonna do here? Like this kind of thing, yeah. Um, Romania or Chad, yeah, this is Romania by now. Romania's kind of cool. Romania's kind of cool. It goes up here. I think I actually prefer it than the Crest versions. So let's go like that. Serbia, very cool flag. I've always liked the Serbian ones, uh, the Serbian flag, and it's going high B plus. I think it's better than Belgium. I think we'll move up Montenegro as well. Yeah. Um, Russia, I've always liked the Russian flag, but it's kind of like middle of B. Um, Rwanda is a very cool flag. Rwanda's a very cool flag. Um, and I don't love the color scheme, but I like the format. And I like the, I like the like sun as well. So yeah, it's middle of B plus, I think. Um, Saudi Arabia is a very cool flag. Um, yeah, as I said, like a lot of the Arabic kind of like countries I didn't really like so much. Saudi Arabia is actually like an ATF flag in my opinion here. Um, it could actually, it, it definitely contends with the, the likes of these flags. I'm gonna put it there. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Uh, so now this one, this Solomon, this one's actually Solomon Islands. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, oh no, I don't think I actually made that mistake yet, but this one's Solomon Islands and it is solid B. Solid B, maybe high B. I think it's high B. Um, Seychelles, very cool flag. Not, doesn't live up to the hype in my opinion. It's still like only B plus. Um, yeah, I'll put it there. But uh, like, I think it is very nice. It's cool. Some people will say it's too much. I don't think it's too much. It might be trying a bit too hard, but I still think it's cool. Like, you know, it's, it's just, it is what it is. It's not the greatest. Uh, Palestine, um, better than Western Sahara. Probably like this kind of region here. Um, Sweden, again, not my favorite colors, um, but it has to, you know, it's one of these cross flags. It has to go at least B plus, we'll put a bottom of B plus. Um, Singapore, not my favorite. I don't think it, I don't think it's as bad as Poland, but it can only really be like a kind of C plus, top of C plus probably, yeah. Bottom of B, bottom of B. Um, Slovenia, I love Slovenia. One of my favorite countries I've ever visited. It's worse than the Russian flag though, in my opinion. So I'm gonna put it like, yeah. Um, Slovakia, however, is cooler than the Russian flag. So it's like the better version. I'm gonna put it in like near bottom of B plus. Um, okay, this one might be Sierra Leone. Yeah, this one's Sierra Leone, cool flag. Um, you guys know I kind of like this color scheme and I'm gonna put it there in B plus, yeah. San Marino, very cool flag. I like it. One of the better like simple kind of duo color flags like this. Um, could go to, to the top of B plus, I think. Yeah, I think it's better than Canada. I think Canada actually needs to move down a little bit here. It's probably worse than Croatia. Yeah, go there. Um, what is this one even? I'm tired by now. I think it's Senegal, right? Senegal, again, it's kind of got the same problem as, what was the other flag like this? Um, 
it was, it should be near here. It should, I shouldn't have put it too high. Hmm. It was the uh, the Cameroon flag, wherever that is. Similar kind of problem here, so I kind of want to put it near it. Yeah, Cameroon flag, but the Cameroon flag's like a cooler version. I'm just going to put it, it's better than Ghana. It's going to like top of C plus. Um, Somalia's actually pretty cool. I think Somalia's actually a solid flag, like bottom of B plus probably. Uh, Suriname is very cool. I like this flag a lot. Um, it's not as good as Guyana. I think I used to like it better than Guyana. This These days, I think it's just a high B+. Yeah. Um, Sao Tome and Principe didn't have two stars. Am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. But um, I would probably put it in the C tier. It's all right. Probably better than those ones, I guess. Yeah, it's probably actually C+. Um, Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador. I don't think this might, might be El Salvador. Regardless, it's got it's not as cool as the Illuminati Triangle one, which I put where? Can't even find it. Um, probably here, so yeah, it's gonna be a few spots lower. Um, Iraq? Syria. Syria is pretty cool, but suffers from the same kind of Yeah, you know, it's not the most interesting. We'll put it here. Eswatini is very cool. Get it to the top, baby. Um Eswatini is probably an A tier flag, is it? Hmm, it's, it's kind of on the border, actually. I think I prefer it to the Kenyan flag, I do. But I'm not sure if I prefer it to the to the uh, Serbian flag. Yeah. Uh, Chad, we will put next to Romania, and I put Romania here. Um, Togo is kind of mid, but could be worse. Probably bottom of B here. Yeah, I mean, it's probably worse than Hungary. Yeah. Um, Thailand, pretty cool. Thailand's a nice flag. I think everyone likes it. It's kind of like, it's better than Costa Rica, I think, marginally. So I'll put it above Canada, yeah. Um, Tajikistan, kind of mid, C tier. Um, Timor-Leste is pretty cool. Timor-Leste is definitely like a solid B plus kind of flag here, in my opinion. Um, Turkmenistan is not bad. Turkmenistan is kind of like a, just an average B, in my opinion. Um, Tunisia is cool. As the Crescent flags go, definitely one of the better ones, probably like, Bottom of B plus here, like next to Bulgaria, which I'll actually move down a tier. Uh, to Tonga is one of my least favorite flags. Somewhere down here, not a fan, not a fan. Turkey's cool though. Turkey can go middle of B plus, no, low B plus. Um, what is that, St. Kitts and Nevis? I think we already had, what is this one? Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago is good. Um, I definitely like it more than a lot of these flags here. Um, and I would probably put it middle of B+. Yeah, it's a cool flag. I love the uh, strokes, as you guys can see, always. Um, this one's another ugly flag. This one with the stars. It's going top of E. Um, Tuvalu, um, something like that. Okay, so this, what was that one we had before? Um, which was like, this one's Samoa, Amer Samoa, which I actually don't like as much. That one's got like a few stars only. So this one's actually coming down here. And this one, Taiwan, is going where this one was. They're not that different from each other. Obviously, you can't really see it here. It's like the drained version of, of the proper um, Samoan flag. But yeah, it's definitely worse. Um, okay, Tanzania. Cool flag. Cool flag. We got the strokes. Um, it's better. It's uh, maybe slightly worse than... Um, I think actually you have to move both of these up like that. Yeah. Um, Ukraine flag's pretty ugly to me. You know, obviously... Um, you know, you don't want to be saying bad things about Ukraine right now. They're going through a lot, but for me, I, uh, I've never liked their flag. It's not colors I like. It's not a design I particularly like. It's going to go here. Uh, Uganda's got a cool flag, although it's maybe trying a bit too hard with the six stripes. I would put it, um, here. Yeah, it's good. Next one here, USA. Okay, controversial time. A lot of people love the Star Spangled Banner. I do not. I do not like that flag very much. However, it's significantly better than Liberia. Um, but I think it's worse than Malaysia, guys. I, no cap, have to put it in the C tier. It's a C tier flag in my opinion. Too much going on. They had too many stars. It probably, it looked better when they had like the ring of stars. Um, but even then it's too many stripes. Yeah, not, not that nice in my opinion, sorry. Um, Uruguay, Uruguay, Uruguay. So, um, let us put Uruguay fairly it's, it's much better than Argentina, in my opinion. 
Um, I mean, it can go like high B, low B plus. Yeah, something like that. Um, Uzbekistan, ugly flag in my opinion. Um, but we got the strokes, so I have to, you know, put it up a little bit here. Um, somewhere there, yeah. Uh, Vatican City's got a cool flag. I like the keys. It is kind of like, almost like, it, it's a, it's an eerie flag almost, even though it's got bright colors. Um, but yeah, it can go like above Mexico, I feel like it's fair. Um, this one's really missing the final square in my opinion. Uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines or whatever it is. Somewhere there. Uh, Venezuela is, I think it's actually worse than the other two. Um, not just my GeoGuessr bias here, but I'm gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it like high B. It's not as good as Ecuador or Colombia. I think Colombia actually, keeping it simple, looks the best. And actually, the format here is worse, actually. It is slightly different, isn't it? So yeah, not quite as good. Vietnam's a cool flag. Definitely high B plus, high B plus kind of uh, candidate here. Um, whoops, that's gone out of whack now. But yeah, it's about right. Um, here, yeah. That's good. Um, Vanuatu, kind of ugly in my opinion. Um, something around that. Yeah, around that. Um, okay, here's some more. So what was this one then? What was this glitched Taiwan flag? Hmm, guess we'll put it next to this. Taiwan and drain Taiwan. Um, and then we'll go Samoa here. It's ugly, ugly, ugly. Um, yeah, whatever, yeah. Uh, this one, straight up, just a B, I guess. Yeah, uh, South Africa's cool. Say what you will about... It's a country that's going through a bit at the moment, but they, uh, in their regime change, had a very upgraded flag. The old one was pretty ugly, if you ask me. And we're putting this one pretty high. I think South Africa does live up to the hype. I think I'd put it below Iceland, maybe. Just above Iceland. Yeah, there we go. Uh, next one here is Zambia, which is a cool flag actually. The lopsided nature actually doesn't too, do too much to hide it, harm it, sorry. So I'm gonna put it above UAE there. And finally, Zimbabwe is a good flag. It's gonna go in the um, B plus tier, I wanna say here. So let's just go like around here. Yeah, I think it's better than Nigeria. Okay, so, so for anyone who skipped ahead in the video, here is the final list. We have Barbados, Albania, Brunei, and I checked it, it's Marshall Islands coming out the top here. Then we have the Gambia, Brazil, Mozambique, Estonia, Bhutan, Botswana, Portugal, and Dominican Republic. These ones are the greatest flags in my opinion. Some of them are definitely more simple than the ones you see in the A tier, which are also really nice flags. I honestly think maybe it's just Japan's cool aura that brings Japan so high here, but all these other ones, even like China kind of same, but like all these other ones I think are really strong, just like, core basics with like a nice symbol and really clean, normal looking colors. These ones here, like a lot of these are flawed, but could have been, a lot of these like at the top of B plus were built for greatness and couldn't quite make it there. Um, I definitely think like a lot of these I could definitely see taking into the A tier in another video. But B plus was definitely stacked. B was also pretty stacked here. Um, and then yeah, my worst flags here. So we had like Guinea-Bissau, Philippines, Ukraine, Vanuatu, Tonga, um, Belarus, whatever this one is. <laughs> it's not Fiji, it's Fiji, yeah, Fiji. Um, Laos, um, Bahamas, Bangladesh. You know, Bahamas probably is better than like some of these. Um, then we have, yeah, this is this is where I could probably rearrange things a little. I think Niger is worse than Palau. I think Palau is probably better than, um, than whatever it's called, Tuvalu whatever, um, Tokelau, I don't know, <laughs> two to not Tokelau, uh, Tulu, and then Liberia, uh, coming up the rear there as the worst flag, in my opinion. So, guys, what did you think? Um, let's click the community rank, by the way. Just before we end it off, I'm, I'm looking at some other ones that people have made here. Also, people have Albania and, uh, and, and Barbados at the, at the top here. Um, so, yeah, I can definitely see some, like, great picks at the top. Some that I not, wouldn't necessarily go for, but ultimately I think people do have similar taste to me here. Doesn't, I, Tonga in S plus is pretty crazy to me, but um, you know, like a lot of these are, are pretty good lists in my opinion. Um, so uh, yeah, that is it for this one. Thank you guys very much for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what your favorite flag is in the comments. I'll be keen to know. And guys, until next time, I will say goodbye.